And tonight, it appears the Ann Arbor District is ready to offer some level of in-person learning after much debate on the issue. Yeah, Mar McDonald has been following the back and forth on this and is live with us now with a decision that I think came sooner than some expected, Mara. Well, Devin, that's right. The board voted at noon today. They said, yes, they are going to go offer a hybrid model, but they're also coming back into session seven o'clock tonight. And a lot of people have signed up to speak. Ann Arbor Public Schools has been fully remote since last March, one of the few districts to do so and offer no in-person option up until now. Last week, the board directed the superintendent to come up with a plan that would keep the district remote until the fall. That did not sit well with parents and students. For the past year, all since March, I honestly feel like I haven't really learned anything with this online learning. And it's taken such a toll on so many kids' mental health. The school district tried to tamp down the anger by saying that was merely an option that was being explored. Today, it has now committed to a hybrid learning option starting March 25th, which looks like this. Preschool, young fives and kindergarten will start hybrid learning format on March 25th, along with small groups of sixth through 12th graders. First and second graders would have a hybrid option April 5th, grades three to five on April 12th. The rest would be phased in after April 12th. Ann Arbor was one of the last districts holding out on offering any in-person option. The school district also says it has struck up a deal with Michigan Medicine and the Washington County Health Department to get its staff vaccinated. Back here live, Grace, who you heard from in my piece, was one of several students who told me how desperately they want to return to school. Those are academic achieving kids who are worried they are falling behind. She texted me today to say she is thrilled that the school district is going to offer a hybrid in-person option. And the parents group, Ann Arbor Reasonable Return, says it too is pleased that the district is going to be offering a hybrid option as well. Let's see what happens when the meeting starts up at 7 o'clock. We're live in Ann Arbor tonight. I'm Mara McDonald. Local 4. We sure will. All right, Mara.